This is a lot better than mayonnaise. <laughs> Here we are. Good morning guys. For today's vlog, I am actually going to be doing workouts for a week in quarantine. So these are just easy at-home workouts that anyone can do pretty much. I work out like four days a week during quarantine, so there'll be four of them. And you can do them in your kitchen like I do. You can do them in your backyard, your garage, your living room, whatever. So I thought that this would be helpful during this time because obviously we can't go to the gym and I feel like it helps me maintain my mental health just as much as my physical health to move my body and exercise still. I wanted to share this with you guys so that anyone who's struggling to come up with ways to work out or just if you like to watch someone and feel like you're working out with them or anything like that, I just wanted to make a little resource for you guys that is what this week's vlog is gonna be we'll also have the workouts written out in the description box so you can write them down or print them out or whatever if that's helpful I'll be demonstrating them and showing you guys how I do them but I'm not gonna take you through each set basically like I'll show you guys how I do the workout and everything but I'm not gonna do the entire workout on the vlog because they last like you know 30 to 45 minutes I'll also be showing you guys my workout outfits throughout the week because I always get a lot of questions on those and places where I like to buy active wear so I'll be wearing some of my favorite brands and showing you guys the cute outfits. Other than that, Clayton and I are trying to wake up earlier this week because we've done absolutely everything later in quarantine and it just makes us feel a little bit behind and like it's just messing us up a little bit. I think it was really great that we were on the schedule that we were for a while because it was very relaxing and there was like so much rest and I'm so grateful for that and it felt good but we're gonna try out this schedule and see if that kind of helps us feel better in a different way so i'll keep you guys posted on that too and there'll be a dare at some point in this video of clayton doing something weird per usual let's work out all right so it's monday and this is my first workout outfit it is from the band the brand be try it which is one of my absolute favorite workout brands they make the cutest sets and they just have like the best prints they have some really fun cuts like they'll do some cutouts and stuff which is definitely for a lower impact workout if you are built like me <laughs> still really cute so this is just a little red leopard set full length leggings i'm wearing a size small in the leggings and the sports bra my shoes are the adidas ultra boost and i'll link everything i can find in the description box per usual all right so as i said we work out in our kitchen that means we <laughs> wheel our island out of the kitchen, which is nice that we can do that. We move our bar stool too. And then it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna vacuum. So we do all of our workouts together too in quarantine. Just because Attached at the hip. <laughs> it's fun to have someone to do it with. If you do, if you're not with someone, you could always FaceTime them and do it with them, mm -hmm. which I think would also be fun and it just kind of helps keep you accountable because they can still see you on FaceTime and they can still be like, you're not doing that. Why aren't you doing the exercise? <laughs> <laughs> we always do them together and something that helps us a lot is definitely keeping the workouts fresh and new so we don't do the same exact workouts every week mm -hmm. and what we do that's helped us a lot is we write out our workout for the next day the night before. Yes. So on Mondays and Fridays, we usually do some variation of a full body workout. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll do lower body or an upper body. And then on Wednesdays, we take the day off because it's in the mm -hmm. middle of the week and it's just kind of like a nice rest. rest. So we usually come up with about nine exercises per workout and then we do each one three times. And it takes like 45 minutes, 45 minutes or so. But today's a little different one. We're gonna do cardio and abs today. Yeah. So like we said, we like to keep it mixed up so that our bodies don't get used to it and our brains don't get used to it and we don't get bored. Mm -hmm. So we're trying out something new with cardio today. Depending on where you live, it might may be easier for you to do cardio. We don't really go on super long walks or anything mm -hmm. where we live, so we're gonna get some cardio in yeah. our house. And it's gonna be hard. <laughs> we know this is gonna be it's hard. Gonna we made this cardio workout up, it's gonna be hard, so be aware of that but it's our earliest workout in two months yeah no, no, no. but basically that is the way that we set up our workouts for the week and kind of what they look like so i wanted to tell you guys before 
we start doing them. All right, so for cardio, we're gonna do one minute on, 10 seconds off for, for 10, 10 rounds, 10 rounds. There's five exercises, we're doing each one twice. cardio and now we're sweaty and we're about to do an app workout. I'm gonna head down to the floor. All right, we are done with cardio and abs, and now we're gonna have a smoothie and put our house back together. And if you guys want our smoothie recipe, it's in another vlog, we can link it. And then also something else we try to do every day, if your body needs a break or rest or whatever, obviously just listen to it and don't do it. But I do 100 squats, just 100 air squats, and Clayton does 100 push-ups. And then we try to do 100 crunches as well. So it's nice to get those done in the same time frame as the workout. If you can, if you have time, if you feel like it. If not, you can just do them throughout the day. So like just randomly be like, okay, I'm gonna get 25 done right now and then go about your day. A couple hours later, get 25 more done, whatever. And if we don't get any done during the day, we'll usually do them at night before we go to bed because we're like, oh, we haven't done our squats and push-ups yet. Let's do those. And then if we ever skip a day or miss a day, we roll them over to the next day. So sometimes we do 200 squats a day, 200 push-ups. I mean, yeah, push-ups for him, stuff like that. So now when we have our smoothies and just kind of like get into the morning groove, we'll get a couple of those exercise is done. That's all right, today is Tuesday and we usually do legs on Tuesday to kind of get that out of the way. So on Monday we did the full body and now we'll move on to legs. I'll show you guys my workout outfit now. All right, don't mind the mess behind me because there's just a lot going on. But today I'm wearing Gymshark, which is one of my favorite workout brands. They're quite affordable and I think their stuff is so nice and it fits really well. Some materials fit different than others, so this is like a very stretchy, almost like line knit material. I'm wearing a size small in the top if it's perfect. And then I'm wearing an extra small in the leggings. They're nice and stretchy, super high-waisted. And the extra small fits great in these, but in their more smooth, like seamless material, I got an extra small and I can barely put it over my body. So be aware of that. And then these are the shoes I'm wearing. You guys always love these shoes on Instagram. They're the Nike 2K Zoom. <laughs> this new way to do Russian twist. Yeah. So that's how we're doing it. And it's really hard. We're not that good at it yet, so it's not perfect, but. It's definitely harder though. You can go in the TikTok hole yourself and see if you like the. No, find it in the hole. <laughs> Arms go up. And you just do little twists with your torso. 
Okay, so I have done a lot of searching and trial and error with, what should I call them, workout shoes, I guess, athletic shoes, and I always get a lot of questions on my stories when I post like a little workout or just my workout outfit or something and my shoes. You guys always have questions and I know that workout shoes are kind of important as far as like comfort and everything goes and functionality but we also want them to be cute so i have three pairs that i rotate through right now and i love them all so i'm going to do a little mini haul of them and tell you guys everything about them and show you how they look on as well the first pair is probably my most worn athletic shoe and they're just really freaking comfy so these are the adidas ultra boost and they're kind of like a fly knit material and then this is what the bottom looks like and they're just like super comfy and stretchy it's kind of like putting on a tight sock or something so you actually don't have to untie them every time you put them on you can kind of just like slip them on which i feel is so nice and these these also come in a lot of cute colorways this pair is kind of like a pinkish nude it's a really nice neutral color and i like that it's just not black i also don't like my workout shoes to be like too vibrant and bright because then i just feel like they don't match most of my workout outfits so i either go for black gray something nude like this usually so i absolutely love this pair i highly recommend them and they fit true to size yeah i got a seven and a half in these which is my normal size they fit perfectly, they're very durable, so so comfy, and you can just do your thing in them and be cute and match everything. So, I also want those in black and white, I think, because they're such good shoes. Next is the Nike 2K Zoom, I believe is the name of these, and I actually featured these in my sneaker video because I wear these as street style shoes a lot as well because they're just really stylish and cool. I love the silhouette of them and I love the colors. They're like bold, but they're still really neutral, obviously just black and white. And some people say that these run a half size small. So um, I actually got my normal size. I got a seven and a half and I think that they fit fine, but I could see how maybe they're a little bit snug. I don't know if I would go up to an eight, but I definitely see what people are talking about. and. If you're like really sensitive about your shoes being like a tad bit tight or something then probably just size up a half size so i love these they're great one thing that's a little bit annoying about them when you're working out is the shoelaces on these for some reason are really slippery so they don't stay tied that well you have to like double knot them before you start your workout and then they won't come undone but that's just kind of like the one thing I would say but they're really comfy I feel like you can do a lot in them I actually don't run so I can't say if any of these shoes are good running shoes but for all the workouts that I do these are really comfy and supportive supportive <laughs> and they're cute to wear with street style looks as well so even if you don't want them for the gym I highly recommend them for actual styling <clears throat> and then lastly this is my most recent pair of workout shoes that i purchased and i don't know the name of them zoom rise okay so these are the nike zoom rise and they're actually basketball shoes i believe but i just love them because i love the high top look for workout shoes and they're obviously really supportive because they do have the high top and i thought that they were just cool love that they're just black and white and then this swoosh here is kind of like a nice bold detail so these are unisex and they run true to size i'm pretty sure so yes these run true to size i got a men's six which is a women's seven and a half of them they're really like nice and snug and supportive on your ankle and everything they're great for workouts i like to wear high socks with them they're really cute and you guys always ask about them on instagram so i wanted to show you these so that is it for my favorite workout shoes I want to keep adding to the collection so if you guys have any workout shoes that you love or highly recommend definitely leave them in the comments and i'll check them out and maybe 
snag a pair next time I need an upgrade. Good morning guys. Today is Thursday and on Wednesdays we take like a rest day from a full workout. Today is Thursday and we're gonna do arms. And we actually just got in the mail yesterday some dumbbells that we ordered like when this all started and we thought that they were canceled and they were never gonna come. It came yesterday so we're really happy about that and we're actually gonna use them. But if you don't have dumbbells, that's totally fine. You could use resistance bands if you have them or you can just use your own resistance. You kind of have to just focus on making it hard and creating resistance and like tightening all of your muscles just in the air basically. So you can do that or you could fill up like two big water bottles, make them like, how much are two big water bottles? Like two pounds? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you can make like two pound weights out of those. You can use spaghetti sauce jars. You can do stuff. So don't get discouraged if you don't have dumbbells is what I'm saying. So yeah, we're gonna do a little arm workout and some abs, and then our daily squats, push-ups, sit-ups, and I'll show you guys my outfit. Okay, today I'm wearing Gymshark again, and a little bit hard to see this, this lighting. I feel like maybe I should try a different mirror. Okay, this is a little better. Still extremely dark. All right, but this is what I'm wearing. It's another Gymshark set, and I don't even think you guys can tell. There we go. This is a little crossover, which is really cute. It's really supportive, actually. And it's got a little, I don't know, it's almost like a leopard or a marble print or something. I'm wearing a size small in the top. And then the bottoms are super high-waisted, really flattering. They, like, suck you in, super stretchy. I'm wearing a size extra small. And then these are my Nike basketball shoes. And I will link them all. What you doing? This is a watering hole. He fills up our water bottles here every day. It takes a couple minutes. It really does. You're a gem. Each bottle. You have Zachary on your face. I know. <laughs> Trying to get it off right now, actually. <laughs> okay, 21s are basically curls sectioned into three different movements. So you do seven, like half curls this way, and then you do seven half curls this way, and then you do seven full curls, and it makes 21. Okay, that's what we're Good morning! Today is Friday and we usually do a live workout on Instagram on Fridays but we're not doing that today because we're vlogging our workouts this week so we just woke up it's we woke up at 7 30 and now it's 8 and we're ready to do our workout so yeah on Fridays we normally do like a full body kind of cardio ish give or take depending on the day so it's gonna write out that workout right now because we were a little high in last night just on like editing and stuff so that's plan and i'll show you guys my outfit house is a mess behind me from filming but today's outfit is another beach riot set and my nike zooms so these shorts are super cute they're pink and what is this color like a light orange sherbet black and then the bra has like that orange sherbet top. There's a little cutout pink top. So cute. And I love these shoes. All right. I got this key back. I love her. I love her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yeah. All right, guys. Get down. We're going to do squats, but we're not just doing squats. Hitting it with a knee crunch. Ready. Alternate. Can I dance for you? Arms, 
you can do this with or without weights. Yeah, we used to do it without weights. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite good. This is gonna be really difficult. Trust your words cause you know me best. Let's take a walk down a brick road. Click your heels and you'll be there. I want you, do you want me to? Once you hear the rhythm playing, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be here for it if it's for you. Once my body gets to swaying, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be saying, yeah. Can I dance for you? Tonight, I'm going to make an exciting dinner adventure, something I haven't made before. I have no idea if it's gonna be good, but I thought that it would be fun and I'm excited about it. So I decided I would do a little cook along, and I'm sure we can have Chef Boy RC also help. Sue Chef because he's very entertaining. I'm going to be making a vegan, whoa, can't talk, a vegan case, vegan chicken quesadilla. And I'm also going to attempt to make the, or actually, we're we making the cheesy gordita crunch. Should we try it? Okay, scratch that. We're making a vegan version of the Taco Bell cheesy gordita crunch. I think we might use chicken instead of beef, but we could use, beef too vegan obviously and the sauce that comes with that i don't know what it's called but it's like the iconic taco bell sort of like creamy sauce so i'm gonna try to make all of that vegan and i just thought it would be like a fun little cooking adventure that's what's going down i know you'll probably ask about these glasses so they're from movement i'll link them in the description box i'm also going to show you guys my cozy outfit because it is so comfy and i love it and it's from a small business so let's Look at it. Okay, Clayton's turning on the chandelier. All right, so a little bit of light. So I'm wearing this sweater tunic and I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be like really baggy and oversized so I can wear it as a dress. And it's just like one of those really soft, like lightweight material. It actually has pockets in it, which is so nice, but it's kind of just like I'm wearing one of Clayton's sweatshirts or long sleeves or something like that, so. I just love this vibe, and as I mentioned, it is a small business, so La Lux is a small female-owned business, and we love them, so I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, I had to fact check Delaney, and I looked up the Gordita Crunch recipe, and we don't have like five of the ingredients. We thought it was a tortilla. It's actually a flatbread, if you're familiar, and we don't have lettuce. So we're gonna just do chicken quesadillas, vegan chicken quesadillas, and we're still gonna do the spicy ranch. Spicy ranch is still a thing, still happening. Number one in our hearts. We got a new, we got a new chicken out here. It's called Mindful Chicken Sweet Earth. We used it on baked chicken Alfredo the other night. Now we're going for this chicken quesadilla. Should be very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. This is the best chicken I think. Well, this kind of chicken. It's like a grilled chicken vibe. We have lots of good like breaded chicken. Yeah, breaded yeah, chicken. Yeah. This one though? So no, but we've never tried the Gardein yeah, chicken like that. Yeah, that's true. But I just feel like this one's better for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well this is exciting. I'm gonna okay. go get the tortillas, because that's step number one. These are gonna be pretty easy to make. Yeah, we have to look up how to make the sauce. Google the Taco Bell ranch sauce. Taco Bell spicy ranch recipe. So, I'm gonna make this. I'm getting a good recipe. Come on. He's trolling me. <laughs> Follow your heart. Vegan cheese is bomb.com. I promise. If you've had bad vegan cheese experiences, I think that these ones are actually really good. So, we're gonna mix the mozzarella shreds and the cheddar shreds. We recently got Miyoko's vegan um, cheese shreds as well, but I actually prefer these. The Miyoko's mozzarella wheel and the other wheels are really good, but for shreds, all your heart is king. King of the hill. We're gonna stir some tray. Preheat a slightly oiled pan over medium heat. Stir for seven minutes. That's pretty easy. What pan should we use for the quesadilla part? Oh, I know which one it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be our lined pan, our lined pan. And we're doing circle quesadillas, circles. Or do you want half, half Well, can, don't you cut it after you cook it? Well, you can do a flipper, but you know where it's flipped. Oh, yeah. No, I think... 
So you can do one. You can do one. I mean, this is by enough, right? I assume like this. Yeah, because the quesadilla is like yeah, really Yeah, because like then you dense. get it like, yeah, and you get the. Uh, oh, have like three. And we're going to dip it in the three? ranch. Can have three? Three triangles, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to dip it in the ranch. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Chicken tastes like chicken broth a lot, but in like a really good way. Really good way. If you try it, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. I'm gonna put the holy grail garlic salt on it. Cause duh, we put this on everything. Makes everything taste better. Also, my mom and my grandma always use this. So I feel like this just makes my food taste like home. Going in, going in. Cooking with Oh. We have to eat this tomorrow. Oh, oh my god, can we make us a fruit platter tomorrow with this and this? Mm -hmm. And blueberries? Blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Goals. Do we even need French toast? No. Or uh, actually, how about you use that baguette? How about you use that baguette and we just have like three small French toasts and then that big fruit spread? Alright. Yes. It's going to be a cyclone with the ranch. Just wait for it. A cyclone? Yeah. Oh, here comes the cyclone. Oh my god, it's gonna come out like really fast and everyone's scared. We're gonna need a lot of this. You're actually a psycho. I'm not having a little bit of mayonnaise. Just a little bit of mayonnaise. Calm down. Are you scared from your hair? Yeah. You should just eat from your hair. Mayonnaise makes me scared. Show you guys this chicken in a second. Incredible. Siete. Oh yeah, Siete, a habanero. Oh, Clayton! Wow, darn it. <laughs> it already looks like it. Can you make it too spicy? I just don't want to put more spicy. Oh, you dumped a whole bottle in there. Oh, do we have avocado? Yeah. Should we make guac with it? Because I feel like guac Ooh, is yeah. so good with uh, quesadilla. How does this taste? How is it? It doesn't taste like their sauce. It doesn't? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't even remember what their sauce tastes like. Tastes like what that tastes like. I think you need to add a little bit different. Look what you did with the ranch. It's like all over the jar. I think you need it. to add... I think we need like Tabasco maybe or something. Now just add like ranch. You know. Bye bye. This is good stuff. Oh yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Flying chicken. Making guac. To have as a little topper. Make top a lot. Oh, sorry. Cut all up in your grill. <laughs> now my head's cut off. You are flirting with the camera. I'm flirting. We are flirting. Where are you guys from? <laughs> oh my god, I literally just drooled on my hand. Great. I don't know why. I date a drooler. I wasn't even doing anything. Like, I was just standing here. <laughs> are you serious? Yep, I'm. Ooh, your block looks good. Real simple. Real I'm gonna start this up. Yeah, Should I put a little oil down? Just a little oil. Oh my god, cyclone. That's how I do it. I'm a cyclone. Going in. Going in. Did you try it? Going in. Listen to all these throwbacks. Okay, give me some cheese. Cheesy toast. I like this. Almost just dropped it. Love it. Tastes real good. The ladies is coming up. She loved this chicken. She just loves it. <laughs> Clayton, she stop calling me. Literally just loves it. I literally love you. Boys just wanna have fun. <laughs> Alright. It's time to eat. Good job. Oh my god, I'm excited. I think it turned out well. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 
we're doing plating. It's always our little hobby at the end. Normally you do the drizzle. Oh, you can do this, yeah. Pre-drizz? <laughs> this is the pre-drizz? I normally do the drizzle once the... Like ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. don't, don't try too hard. <laughs> That's okay. it. Is it stunning? Now what are you going to do? No, I'm going to... Do like this. Oh. I like where you're going, but I, I think the what? quesadilla pieces need to be closer to the center. Oh, nice touch. <laughs> now give me a slunch on that one. Look how ugly mine is. I don't even look at it. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh See, so, you now I think I would have done the drizz on top. Post drizz. I think I would have done post drizz here. So, this is our first one. This is like the contemporary art place. That one's just ugly. Would really this be contemporary or modern? This is like the modern restaurant, maybe? It's just ugly. Oh, that helps. This helps. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Literally, it looks better than this. Okay. Okay. The the thing that messed this up was whatever Delina was trying to do. <laughs> We're gonna a plating. Now this this is good. You know what would make this look really good though, is if I think we just did six pieces on one. Okay, whatever. Let's well, it's official. I am a weird food eater. <laughs> Today's dare, or this week's dare? I don't do a dare every day. <laughs> Not every day. Not yet. This week's dare is the cinnamon challenge. He's gonna try to swallow a. I got one tablespoon of cinnamon. <laughs> he thinks he can do it. I, I don't know what the big deal is gonna be. This is a lot better than mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. You have some mayonnaise. Apologize to the people for stuff. I had some with JoJo's. <laughs> I said JoJo. Very recent. I, mean, I JoJo love is. JoJo's. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I spilled most of the water because I was laughing. You never heard of that challenge. It's basically stuck everywhere. <laughs> I knew that was impossible. So I was trying really hard not to laugh. I had no idea. That was brutal. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, they'll find out. I can't believe you never tried that growing up. I was so hungry. <laughs> Why? I don't want you to feel it's a dare. Like <laughs> <laughs> Baby, are you okay? I never realized cinnamon was so spicy either. It's so spicy. Are you okay? Uh huh. I had a little panic attack. When I opened the door, dude, I literally sprayed cinnamon. Yeah, that's what I wanted on the camera. In the house? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't gonna do that. I could control myself. 
Okay, you're a trooper. Let's make you some tea. All right. 